So this is an incubator that I have set up in uh, my storeroom here. set up the battery charger and um, here is the carton here is the carton it's the HHD egg incubator this is 48 egg capacity incubator uh, it's pretty cool it's pretty good it is um automatic egg turning unit and um, it takes 48 eggs like I mentioned earlier, but there are a couple of things I want to mention and show you guys today which um, is key uh, You don't find air or incubators come like this this portable incubators. This is just one that stands out it Stands out real good. Okay, so So basically this is the unit uh, this is the unit. This is the uh, the egg holder. After your first 18 days or thereabout, this is what you remove, and then you use this one, which is the the uh, arching trays. This is the setter, and this is the arching tray over here. This is where you're going to place the eggs after 18 days, and. You just leave them to arch into cheeks so what are the key things to note about this incubator it has an automatic turning system egg turning system i'm going to cover it in a little while uh, it has an automatic egg turning unit that turns the egg i think after every i think that's after every two hours this is the timer we have here I'm going to show you this is the timer we have here this is remaining one hour 46 minutes for it to turn again but then before before that time comes I'm just going to sample it this is how the turning of the egg happens I'm going to press the button that will make it turn now okay so this is the egg turning can you see that So this is what happens automatically every two hours if i had left the counter uh to run down to zero from that two hours you can see now it's one minute 59 seconds so if i had left the counter it would get to that point where it's going to turn automatically so that is one thing automatic egg turning system it has the um humidity sensor the yeah, humidity sensor is somewhere over here the thermometer too is there the fan is there so i'm going to close this incubator now and show you guys how it works okay here we are back to seeing how the incubator works before it was opened and i can assure you if opened it won't reach the temperature that it's supposed to get to to be able to arch your eggs into chicks right now the temperature is increasing there is a set minimum there's a minimum temperature that i've set there it's actually a range there's the high there's the low you get to be able to set the high and the low so when it comes lower than the low that you have set let's say probably your low is 36.9 or 37.0 and your high is 38.5 or thereabouts it has to stay within that range if anything happens if everything is fine the battery unit is good the light is supply it won't come down lower than that it won't go higher than that except there's a crazy uh incident in the weather condition but that is rare it's it will hardly occur so without that the temperature is something that you won't have to worry about actually what would um what can go wrong is if the light goes out 
as you can see here there's here's my battery i'm actually using a 60 amp battery to support the incubator right inside here and the battery has a charger okay there's a charger unit here yeah that's it so the battery is 75 percent plus charged now so it's topping up it's topping up it's been a while since i powered it on i'm just doing this test video for you guys to see so this is the battery unit so what comes what comes in the box what comes in the box yes the only thing that is not part of this incubator setup that you will get is the battery the battery doesn't come with the incubator you get that but the incubator is built with an inverter it has an inbuilt inverter the inverter and it comes with if you buy this particular brand and this package it comes with this charger it comes with this charger so the only thing you get is the battery so you don't have to worry about light problems and all that and the incubator is pretty is pretty easy to set up it's pretty easy to set up this is the settings button if you want to increase anything you take it up you bring it down you tap the settings button it takes you to the particular setting you want to get to is it the temperature you want to get to this is the high and the low you fix that into place then you can also set the humidity and that you can set all the parameters it has its own user manual and all that so it's pretty easy it's pretty easy if you check now you will see 38.0 36.8 that's what we have 38.0 is the temperature that has been set there but at the moment it's 36.9 it's still going up 37.0 now it's going to go to that um, preset temperature when it gets there it tries to maintain that temperature if you look at this light it's showing that the heater is on I'm going to make sure the video stays long enough to show you when the heater goes off. So the heater is right on now. It's raising the temperature of the unit up to the minimum that we have set there. You'll see that in a moment. You'll see that in a moment. So that it's 7.4 now. It's 7.5. And we have the humidity as 56. 56. This place is quite... Um, quite hot and the unit has no water inside it i'm going to show you how to add water to it to raise the humidity if you need that i'll show you how to add it comes with the bottle to the water bottle okay this is the water bottle here this is the water bottle here i have not loaded it with water but i'm going to do that if i need to add water to the unit there's a small o where you can just pass this inside and just press little water inside you can see the humidity is dropping 55 and the temperature shows that the heater has gone off since it has reached that 38 i was showing you the other time this 38 degrees is a perfect temperature to um at your head okay you can see what we have there if you start afresh you're gonna have zero zero as the day count so this this counter has six i i ran a test to know how i can manage the light the lighting system with this battery here so that is why i have six already there six days so you can reset it and you start from zero when you are counting so you don't even have to bother about records the, the counter keeps the memory of the time even if the unit goes off once you put it back on it continues to count so it's pretty a good one that you have here it's a good one that you have here i see a couple of incubators but most of them are without uh, the inverter system so i'm going to interrupt now to interrupt now this 
is the connector of the incubator this is a connector that's when you want to use battery this is what you use in fact i've been using this since i got the incubator i've not used any other thing i've been using this since i got it the other thing that you can use is the power cable in case you come from a place where there's constant electricity you can have this connect the power cable that's the power cable over there you can just connect the power cable and if you plug it to the electricity going to power the system and power the unit as you can see so that is using direct electricity but I think it's better to use um, I think it's better to use the battery since you are sure that in case of uh, light out the part the battery will continue to run the system so I'm going to show you what happens now you can see the battery is charging battery is charging battery is charging so I'm going to show you what happens if light goes off if light goes off using this kind of unit like I said not all units are like this so you have to worry about light but this one comes fully packed like I told you the other time even if you put out the light source the counter continues you can see the temperature has dropped and now the heater is on is raising the temperature the humidity is 54 okay i think i should test the humidity for you guys it's important that i test it um, to see how i can raise it but first i'm just going to put out the lights i'm putting out the switch so the battery has stopped charging battery charger is off but there's no timeout at all it's just on the unit is on the unit is on yes this is this is to say that the temperature is currently lower than normal <clears throat> the temperature is currently lower than it should be that's the alarm system that is on now. Okay. Yeah, the minimum is 37. The minimum set temperature is 37. So the battery alone is, a, is enough to power your unit. You don't have to worry. Once it is fully charged, you can run the system or the unit on it and you have the the battery charger on so that once the light comes the battery continues to charge and the cycle goes goes on like that so you can see the temperature is currently going up it's going up okay uh, as you can see the unit is currently indicating low temperature you can see the hell the hell there indicating low temperature but uh, what happened is uh, I, I just opened the cover of the unit some seconds ago just like this so the atmospheric temperature kind of interfered with the temperature inside the unit that is why we can hear that sound so I'm just gonna wait for it to get to the minimum which is 37 for that sound to go out so we have 36.8 
57. Okay. <laughs> So what we're, fo what we're focusing on right now will be the humidity, the relative humidity of the unit. As you can see, it's giving us 52 right now. 52. So I'm just going to show you how to adjust the relative humidity. Minus 52, and I want to make that go up. <clears throat> so here is the water bottle. This is water. It has this tiny mouth that you can use to apply extra moisture to the unit. So there's a hole. There's a hole just here. Let me. Okay. There's a hole just here. So I'm just gonna apply the you can see I feel that I'm just gonna apply the to quality of water. water. Actually what you need to raise the humidity of the unit is just small quality of water. So let's see how it goes. I just need it to go up a few units, a few units. We have 52 at the moment. So you can see we have 53 right now. 53. If you notice, we had 38.2 at some point for the temperature. And because the heater went off, you can see it is now 38.1. Very soon, if it gets to a, uh, to a certain low, the heater is going to come up and raise the temperature of the unit. You can see it's 38.0 now. Let's take note that the heater is off. The heater is off. But this system just takes care of everything. It takes care of almost everything, actually. The temperature is perfect. It deals perfectly with the temperature. When it's, it, it has a thermostat system, so when it's too high, when it's about to get too high, it shuts down the heater. It starts to go down, to go down. And when it's getting to the minimum, you can see just what, what happened now. You can see what happened now the heater is back on the heater is back on just when it was about to drop from 38 to 37.9 the heater came on so it still dropped to 39 37.9 but as the heater is on i can tell you it can't go below 37.8 that it is now the heater should push up the temperature very soon and one other thing that is adding to the temp the temperature drop is the amount of water, the amount of moisture I've added to the unit. It was 53 humidity before, but now we can see it's 55. So the system is going to balance everything just right now. It's going to balance everything just about now. One thing that I know you have to keep track of is the humidity, because depending on your atmospheric condition the weather condition where you are is going to affect the humidity sometimes you are in a very humid environment so it's good to 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 put to place the incubator in a place where the moisture is not too much the humidity is not too much you can see it's, it has risen to 56 right now it's at 56 humidity so Sometimes you will have to add some water to the unit just to raise the humidity a little. But the quantity of water I added during this experiment is quite high. And that is just because I wanted the humidity to go up quickly for the sake of this video. Normally you're supposed to add just 
some droplets of water is going to balance the immunity in no time so i think this is about everything you can see the temperature is back up just like i promised is back up and the heater is back off so this is a wonderful unit this is a wonderful unit once more because we can't wait for the two hours count where the external timer will reach zero this is what you use to turn the tray by yourself manually so i'm going to turn the tray again probably a couple of times so you can see the direction of turning so i'm going to hit this button right now yes you can see the tray turning you can see the direction of turn it goes back and forth back and forth this is important to give you a good action condition you can see it's it has stopped now and the the tray is is looking is facing upwards not right not left i'm sorry the temperature will be dropping as i've opened the unit and it can give us a sound very soon let me quickly turn the tray again and let's see the direction of turn okay back and forth back and forth and you can see the tray is now pointing towards me the tray is now pointing towards me that's to show you that each time it turns it doesn't just face the same direction it goes back and forth and then it turns to one hand the next time it's going to turn it goes back and forth and turns to the other hand the next time it's going to turn it's going to turn to probably face up like i said the alarm unit that wakes you up whenever something is wrong is giving us a signal now of low temperature so let me turn for the last time okay i think that's just shut the alarm now let me turn okay the only time you put on the unit and it's making noise you tap at one of the buttons will shut it down so you can see now the tray is tilting to the other hand it's not facing up but tilting to the other hand so this makes a perfect turning system it's a perfect turning of the system i so much love this i so much love this this is one incubator you want to get you have some archival eggs in your farm and um, you think you want to maximize what you have around you you have a cock or you have few hen or it's even a lot of them this is one incubator you, you can get the advantage is the inbuilt inverter all you need to just add to it is the battery the battery unit once you had your battery the rest is history and it's pretty it's pretty much portable you can see it's just sitting on two benches here in this storeroom, you can just place yours in the corner of a particular room within your poultry or your house and it's gonna be working smoothly while everything else goes on like uh, okay the charger is still off and I'm going to turn it back on right now so no interruption at all no interruption at all you can see it's yet to start charging yes now it is charging okay now it's charging now it's charging now it's charging. Okay, you can see it's now charging. So, 
whatever you need to do to get yourself something like this to work with i think it will be a good decision it will be a perfect decision the unit is just perfect it's just so good thank you very much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel to get more videos and you know what you can hit the notification button to get our new videos our updates and all that thank you once more peace out